Hey everyone, this is Imanshu from Salesforce Makes Sense and in this video we'll continue our journey on Apex Developer Curriculum and we'll understand sets in collections, right? So in the last session what we talked about is lists, right? And we looked at a lot of methods and we are able to understand it to a good granular level. Now we'll understand how to use sets and what makes it different compared to lists that we have to have another collection type. So I'll create another method here public static void handle set collections all right now if you know lists and if you understand them well set is also very much similar it's just that one or two things are different but pretty much everything is same there's only one difference between list and set set is unordered okay and set does not hold duplicate values Apart from this, everything else stays the same. You can just consider this uh, for now. List can hold duplicate values, correct? Your photo album can have two pictures from the same location. So that would be part of a list, all right? But that cannot be a set. A set always has to be a set of unique values. No duplicates allowed, okay? So if you have a use case wherein you want to create a collection of things that cannot be duplicate, for example, a collection of coins, a collection of currency from different countries right you you cannot have the same currency twice it will not make sense right you you want a unique collection a collection of paintings you cannot have two paintings of the same 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 paintings in your collection you'll have to have abstract paintings every every one painting should be different from each other that would be a collection these type of examples would come under set they will not be list Okay, and the second thing is set is unordered, meaning you have no guarantee of the order that the set will return you the values. Unlike list, list the way you put the values, the same same way you get it from the system. Set not so much. Depends on the system. They, they, it might choose to reorder it in any random way. So that's an unordered thing that comes with sets. Okay, let's look at examples. So we started off with lists, correct? We'll now close this particular method section and we'll create set. The, the definition declaration stays the same. Instead of list, you just say set. So set of string, my painting, my paintings equal to new set of string. Now this is a set declaration, okay? Set of string, my currencies new set of string okay string is the easiest uh, data type to explain things so I'm keeping string here for now okay and again if you want to add values here you can just use the curly braces and you can add the values okay so let's say you have AD you have INR you have USD you have CAD all right these are the four collections you have, four type of currencies that you have. Okay, so I'll just say save. All right, if I want to debug my collection, I want to check what is my collection, say my currencies. Let's see, what does it show? So there's some error here. What's the error? This is a comma, the syntax is incorrect. It should be angular bracket and say save. Okay, now if I execute it and I'll say collections in apex dot handle set collections, I want to call this method, execute. So what will it show? It will show me all the four values. Execute, AD, CAD, INR, USD. If you notice, AD, CAD, INR, USD, see it reordered it. Okay, it ordered it in ascending order. So the order that you provided, it did not care about it. It sorted it in ascending order according to it. Okay, what happens if I add a duplicate value here? Let's say I put two INR notes. Okay, and say save. So if you see, I'm able to save it. All right, and if I try to now execute it, let's see what happens. If you see the debug logs, it will only show four values. Duplicates have been ignored. 
INR was twice, it did not consider it twice, it returned only four. Okay, so now let's look at the methods very quickly. What were the methods we looked into uh, list? Add, remove, get, index of, contains, what else? I think that should be all right, size. All right, so if you see, I can say my currencies, I can add a new currency and I can say SGD, Singapore dollar, right? I want to remove a currency. So I'll say my currencies dot remove. Let's remove USD. I have to add it as a string or else it will give me an error. Okay, let's get the zeroth element let's check the index of CAD let's see whether my currencies contain Mauritian rupee and let's finally see what is the size of my currency set save let's see how many of them get saved these are all methods that we saw in list right now I'm trying to save it here two of them have not saved let's see what is the issue it says method does not exist or incorrect signature in the type set so if you take a look at the set class you will notice you have the add method let's look at the methods here directly you have the add method. Do you have a get method here? You see, you don't have a get method. So get method is not available in set. All right. You cannot get by index. Similarly, you cannot do an index of. Why? Because it's an unordered list. It will not be able to maintain the index. So there's no point of giving you the index information. So if you remove the two, uh, if you remove the two methods, you are able to save your file. Okay, let's quickly system.debug it so that we see our result. I hope you are trying this on your own as well and you are writing it on your own. Let's see what do these four debug log statements show. So in the first one, I'm trying to add SGD. The second one, I'm trying to remove USD. The third one, I'm trying to check whether it contains MRU and the fourth one is the size. Let's say execute from our anonymous window, execute. Let's see the logs. Line number 27 is my currencies which is the four values so once I had added it it added it successfully so it gave me true the second time I removed it it was able to remove it successfully it gave me true the third one is it checks whether it contains MRU does it contain MRU no so it gave me false and fourth the final thing is it is giving me the size so what is the size AED INR USD CAD which is four and then I added SGD, which is five. Then I removed USD, which is again four. So it gave me the size of four. It did not consider INR as twice. It will only consider it as one element. So it's giving you the size of four. Okay. Let's debug one more thing. If I say system.debug my currencies of zero element. So this is one, this is an array notation which you can use with list and sets right since you know that you know you have index index as in you have uh, uh, elements kept at 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 indexes it could be 0 1 2 3 4 right so you can use indexes with lists but here like we saw that the get method and the index method is not available you cannot do the indexing here so if you take a look at this error it says that the expression must be a list type it cannot be a set so if you were to try this out, let's copy this. Let's give it a try. 
on the list variable you will be able to do it because on list you have the index uh, option so if i go ahead and say system dot debug my fav books of zero so it will give me the zeroth element it will return me the zeroth element my first favorite book from the collection is and it will return me the monk who sold his ferrari because this is sitting at the zeroth index okay and let's try to do the same for let's say the third index so i'll just say not the third index the third book so it will be second index 0 1 2 which is 3 right so always the index will be total element minus 1 so my third favorite book is my fifth books of 2 let's see what does this two logs return i'll call this method again and i'll say execute debug only so my first favorite book is the monk who sold his ferrari the third favorite book is the almanac of ravi ravi Kant. and it is saying yeah we have a book in common because i compared it with the four agreements book okay so the first one is my favor of zero and the third one is my favor of two so zero one two zero one two all right and how am i accessing the elements by saying within square brackets i'm putting the index all right you can loop through these things we will we'll understand loops right after we understand collections i have not kept loops before because you need to know collections to be able to uh, understand loops a bit more effectively okay awesome so can you do this on set no indexing is always and only available for list types not for set types okay where will set come in handy like i said wherein you need a unique collection of data you don't need duplicates you need to ensure that the data is unique no duplication that's where you use set and you don't use a list okay so i'll encourage you to look at some of the methods from the set class also okay so there are more methods like is empty is there we discussed this for list right so you have a clone method and then you have let's say two string method just look at these uh, methods and try to try to do three, two or three methods and try to create three or four variables of list type from your side and you should be good for now based on where we are you should be good all right so just practice a bit just with with the guide and with the assignment or with the uh, videos if you are typing it along with me that's amazing and if you're not i'll encourage you to you know sit with yourself and try to use four or five different methods from list and set and you should be good all right so the first index position will always be zero which is also true for sets that's not a problem okay awesome so we have done lists and we have done set it's time to move forward to the most favorite collection which is maps so i'll continue this in the next video